Hello guys, my name is Raymond and I would like to do my persuasive speech about with hard work and determination anyone can be successful. Work. There's some way to bite the bullet and just work. Working harder is never gonna not help. No matter what scenario you're in, working harder is never gonna not help you. And it, it's amazing that I give different versions of the same answer from 99% of the questions I'm asked. Work harder. If you have a problem, whether you're broke, you're out of shape, whether your friend dies, your girl leaves you, whether you're depressed, whatever it is. Working harder is almost always the answer. So you know what you need. You need to do it. And what's amazing, again, is kind of like the antidote. If you take the antidote before the poison, then you never get sick in the first place. If you're always working as hard as possible, if you're always working your ass off, trying to be the best version of yourself every single day, then you never get sick in the first place. You're already working, you're already taking the antidote. So things can't get out, can't uh, attach to you, they can't get hold of you. Working hard is the antidote to everything. So why don't you just do it in advance? Why don't you use your life just to become work like mine? Why don't you just dedicate yourself to a cause and get up and do what you're supposed to do every single day? I can't stand quitters. So if you're the kind of person who's gonna quit because it's hard, I don't even want your energy around me, right? You need the people who don't quit, I don't quit. Every single facet of my life is testament to the fact that I don't quit. I didn't quit. So that's the difference. When it was hard, I did it anyway. That's who I've always been. And if you don't have that kind of tenacity, you're never going to be anything. Do you know who is the guy is? And have you ever seen him? Perhaps at social media. His name is Andrew Ted. He once became the most Google person in the world because of the thing he said which was controversy and negative to some people. But the thing is now all of this he said actually true or does have a valid point. But many scared to say or admit it, especially Western females, because they are afraid of the consequence of doing so. For example, he is called a misogynist because he thinks woman is weak when it comes to strength, but we all know this has proven to be true that men are far stronger than women. So anyway, how does this guy fit in my persuasive speech? Let me summarize about his background. Andrew was born in a poor family and their parents got divorced and his father took care of him. He only finished his school until sixth grade and never met it to the university but instead he started a career as kickboxer and went through harsh training and fighting in cash for several years until he met it and become the four-time kickboxing champion worldwide and then retire then he started a webcam business and eventually met a million dollar art from it and become a millionaire then he created another source of income from his casino business, his war room business, his YouTube channel where he make a video of motivational speech, his hustler university and many more and eventually become a billionaire. But he did not last long until trouble came to his way to cut him down. So now that you have learned about his background, what can you say? about him this guy he came from zero to hero no college degree no family inheritance no connection whatever cheat code you can name he is just purely become successful from hard work and determination it took him a long way before he achieved all of that and become the way he is right now no one but god can ever explain what he had to go through to make it that especially that he's starting from less than a bottom. Most of us think that you need a family inheritance to be successful, multiply college degree, connection, and only then you can be successful. While this is not 
necessarily wrong, but it's not limited to that. You still can be successful even without any of that, as long as you're willing to put in effort toward that. It won't be easy, but it will be worthwhile. Great things happen when someone is strongly determined to accomplish them. Determination drive motivation and motivation help to keep moving forward. So, the question is now, how can you be successful, especially in this hyper-competitive era where everyone fighting to be successful? The key is your mindset. You must be willing to sacrifice that weekend out thing and spare more time in a room to study. It will be tough at seeing somebody having fun while you, on the other hand, in a room studying. But it is necessary because this is what it takes to be successful. You do not get access by accident. Other than that, you must be able to operate outside of your feeling and focus to do it regardless. I'm lazy, I'm tired, I'm not feeling motivated, all of these excuses. If you have the power to ignore this and wake up regardless and do the job anyway, you're already a step further to a success. Next is to keep it until you make it. Now everyone have their own journey, their own difficulty, the same procedure applicable to everyone. I'm not saying everyone should be a millionaire or billionaire to become successful. It's great, it's amazing if you can pull that off, but it's not meant for everyone you can graduate from college with degree and become a doctor or engineer then you are already successful definitely not at level of enlisted but success is still success and you made it in life it's testimony you have put a lot of amount of effort to become who you are now and you still can become more last but not least for me we all want to be successful, me too, but most of us do not want to do what it takes to be one. So I want all of you to wake up to reality, realize that no one becomes success by accident, understand that as much as you see those people, success people having a lot of fun in their life, in social media, there's more and stress behind the scene that you cannot ever imagine instead of complaining about the unfairness of reaching your limit keep moving forward you can start today good luck and all the best for you all thank you